Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you'll find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I will have a special video for you uh, showing uh, a recent experience I had with Uber. Uh, so looks like they're charging a, a wait fee which is incorrect or false. So about a couple of days ago we had a trip uh, using uber and then uh, whenever i use uber or lyft uh, usually i never you know go through the email i just look at the title or the headline that you know this is the receipt and i just uh, leave it uh, right there i don't actually open the email but somehow this time i opened the email and what i found out that they're charging a wait fee uh, which uh, for which i actually never uh, waited uh, so there's no wait time and they're still charging that fee so let me just show you here so the total fare was nine dollars and five cents and uh, if you look at the breakdown then you'll see that uh, there's the subtotal uh, 448 uh, fees uh, uh, tolls and surcharges two dollars and 75 cents and then HST fees 1.04 so which is a tax uh, Canadian tax uh, and then there's the wait time fee which is 78 cents now I had no idea what is this wait time fee, but uh, I kind of like you know guess that this is something when actually you uh, wait for the driver, uh, uh, or let's say that you know the driver is there or you know showing up, uh, so there is a wait fee. So when I clicked on this, then it opened a uh, another link, and then here I saw that you know wait fee actually yes. Uh, it, in some locations a per minute wait time fee will begin a few minutes after your driver arrives at your location so basically if you are not there and the driver is there then they're going to charge you a wait fee but for my trip there was no wait time so there was no one waiting uh, the driver was not waiting for the fare so whenever the driver came uh, you know the customer was already there so there's no wait there so i'm not sure why they charge this fee so i sent them an email and asked them to reverse this fee because this is inaccurate false and this fee shouldn't be charged so they replied me back with their answer and which i'll show you right now so once i sent them an email they replied me back stating that uh, you know sorry to hear that you might have been incorrectly charged a wait time fee Due to this experience, we have refunded your wait time fee of 75 cents back to your original payment method, which you should see in three to five business days. And then they're just saying that you know, driver makes uh, every effort to arrive at your location on time. Uh, there is uh, that's why a small per minute wait time fee begins to accumulate after two minutes uh, uh, when your driver arrives, but you're not there. So, for my trip that was not the case a driver didn't arrive before uh, the fare so we were there and the driver came after us so you know that's incorrect and uh, I believe you know probably they're charging uh, some other customers the same wait fee even they are not really uh, the driver is not really waiting so whenever you are using uber just pay attention to your bill and if you see any incorrect or false wait fee then just you know send them an email uh, and ask them that you know why the wait fee is there so this is a new experience i never uh, had this experience and i'm just right now wondering maybe in the past they also charged me a wait fee without me knowing and like you know uh, so it's just dishonest incorrect and false way of uh, you know charging you for something which never happened so just pay attention if you're using uber and now i'll just show you another receipt from uh, uh, my lyft uh, trip and it looks like you know they're not charging anything like this but you know let me just show you a receipt uh, i received from my lyft trip and uh, you'll see that there's no wait fee or anything like that there Okay, so here is an example of my uh, Lyft uh, receipt which I, which I received. Uh, so here is the receipt and if you look at the fare uh, breakdown or write details then the fare is $7.60. 
uh, which is based on uh, the time and then HST which is the tax and I had a credit and there's no wage fee or no nothing. So from this point, if I use Uber, I'll be very careful and I'll try not to use Uber. I'll try uh, to use Lyft, but I'll also keep an eye on Lyft uh, receipt uh, if they're charging me anything which is inaccurate, false or dishonest. But in terms of Uber, just be careful and uh, always go through your receipt and if you see anything like you know which uh, you think you believe it shouldn't have happened or they shouldn't be charging you that then definitely you know uh, send them an email and then ask them to reverse that charges so that's all for now if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing uh, i'll have more videos coming up on this channel i do travel videos credit card videos and other videos so subscribe and i'll see you shortly thank you